guys, welcome to my morning routine. I've been absolutely loving this morning routine. I genuinely like look forward to it. The second that I finish in the morning, I'm looking forward to it the next day. So I just woke up. I wake up between 6 and 6.30. I'm using this Sonia Dakar Organic Omega Oil. I love it. And then of course I always use Glow Screen. I'm using Golden Hour. But I'm gonna wait to put this on because I'm gonna eye show my face. Actually, before I do anything, I spray all in it this Tower 28 SOS spray. If you buy anything that I tell you to ever, for your sake, let it be this. It has gotten rid of all of my breakouts. I had a few hormonal breakouts, like I can't, and they were way, way better than they normally are. It's probably a really niche issue. But um, my eye stroller is downstairs, so I'm like, do I do my skincare now? And then it, it just changes up every day. Anyways, I typically wake up between 6 and 6.30. I'm normally on the trail by 7, and then I do my workout between either 8.20, 8.30, or 9.30, depending on what I do. I either box, go to Pilates, or go weightlifting. So I'm gonna put this. I actually don't really even wanna waste this before. Expensive, but it's so good. Okay, I changed into my outfit this morning. I immediately do this when I wake up. I have forever. This set is set active. Maybe the lighting look better here. Yeah, a little bit. Um, like I was saying, the set is set active. My shoes are Brooks Running. I'll link them below. I think I actually, I love these shoes. And then I think I actually finally got hookahs today. So we'll see. I'll keep y'all posted. Where's my hair tie? Oh, hair tie is the hair edit and I'm obsessed with it. I've been using them so much lately. They have like the best hair ties and stuff for working out. And I also like tele ties as well. Also this array like sleep stuff. It doesn't have melatonin in it, so it's a better for you like sleep vitamin, I guess, supplement really. Um, I love it because I don't wake up groggy. Like when I take melatonin and stuff, it takes me forever to get out of bed and I'm just like not fully awake. So I really like that stuff. I'll also link that below. The dogs aren't quite ready to wake up. Coconut's entire bed. Fitz has been pushed to the floor, I see. Coco has taken the entire bed. Fitz is, oh, big stretch, mister. Big stretch. Oh, God forbid he gets attention. Okay, so most of the time in the morning I walk with my dad, so sometimes I have to take these, I don't today. But what I do need to take downstairs is my journal for morning pages, which is like the best thing that I've been doing recently. So this is when I normally ice roll. Just grab my Skinny Confidential ice roller and it helps my face depuff so much. So this morning is a boxing workout. We're starting a little bit later than normal because my workout isn't until 9.30. I have been loving getting back into boxing. I've just been back on my like cooking at home a lot and um, back on my like workout routines but only workouts that I love doing so I look forward to them every day. And it has been so much fun. Also, so good for my morning routine. So next time I'll have to do morning pages, which basically you do, you're supposed to do like as soon as you wake up and you write three pages straight, you don't stop, pen to paper, three pages. And it's really good for you. One, it's good for creativity. Two, it's good to get to know yourself, self-discovery. I realize that like why certain things are bothering me that I had no idea why. Like it's the best thing ever. It's part of The Artist Way by Julia Cameron, which I'm currently doing as well. And I would say I go through like three weeks where I don't miss a day and then I'll miss like four days in a week and then I go back and forth. But it is the most beneficial thing that I do in my morning. So I literally get up, I write three pages straight and then I, that's it. I will say I was doing it from bed, like literally as soon as I got up or woke up and I like, had nothing to write like not even like every morning I was like I have nothing to say because it was so early and I just like, hadn't thought yet and I feel like it's easier when you're going through like a harder time and you really have pain in your stomach I don't have drama right now so it's been kind of difficult so I do give myself like 10 minutes between like getting dressed and going downstairs to do it because I found that um, I get more out of the activity if you will okay so I guess this is what I'm gonna put my sunscreen on I also put eye patches on, so it gets a little bit tricky sometimes. This is the best sunscreen ever, as you guys know. This is like the most repetitive video. But if y'all are new here, hi, subscribe. And if not, it's all in one video now. So there you go. But the sunscreen, um, I talk about it literally in every video, but it blurs out your skin. It makes you look incredible. They have it like kind of tinted one now. It's not makeup, but it just, gives you the perfect glow and it's so healthy and just 
It's my holy grail product that I've been using for like, I, I, I wanna say honestly like five years at this point. Okay, now it is time for my morning pages. I typically do them sitting over here. So we'll get started. <laughs> guys I just finished three pages my mind feels more clear it is just the best thing ever these loops eye masks are the best eye masks they also are the best face masks but these specifically are just the eye masks I wear them every morning on my walk I grab Starbucks you'll see um, and they're just the best ever I don't love this color is that crazy probably I don't like blue Okay, one sec. And guys, I will leave these on for like an hour. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but it wakes me up. It makes me feel good, so I do it. I always mobile order my Starbucks before I leave, and today is the first day the pumpkin is back. I totally forgot what my pumpkin coffee order is. Normally, I don't get like sauces and that stuff in it, so I don't even know, but this is what I'm getting. I'm very excited and I'll order it so it's just ready to go. All right guys, I'm on my way to the trail. I walk a trail every morning. I like getting there at seven and starting then. I have my coffee already ordered and ready to go and I go with my dad every morning. It's just a really nice little wholesome activity. About an hour, hour and a half walk. Um, so I'm always getting my 10,000 steps in, but also just it's the best way to start off your day and because I do it with someone else, AKA my dad, I can't just be like, oh, I'm just gonna sleep in until my workout. No, I already told him I was going. So then I have to get up. And my success rate is much higher now going with him than it was when I was going by myself. So if I do go by myself, I do just listen to a podcast. Um, in the morning on the way here, I like to listen to podcasts and just like to my workouts and whatever. I like the Skinny Confidential, I like Ed My Let. I like a lot of like personal development kind of podcasts in the morning or like podcasts that I learn from. And then later in the day, I like the comedy podcast, the ones that are just like random funny banter, like more chill pop culture, things like that. Cause then it's like, I wind down more, if you will, you know? Wow, my first pumpkin coffee of the season. neighborhoods a lot now we've been changing up our thing this is my starbucks order this morning it was like grande iced coffee with pumpkin cream cold foam no classic one pump pumpkin sauce what did you get the coffee no like did, really yeah you don't you don't get anything else in it that's not a coffee you a honey almond latte yeah it's not the same thing to me. anyways we're off guys i am leaving my walk now so peaceful so nice i'm going to boxing class i forgot my wraps again um, if any of you guys go to like a workout class where you could either bring things that you've already purchased or rent them or whatever these wraps are ten dollars and i have had to purchase them for every single class granted like you take them with you you can keep them but obviously um and i had them laying out right next to where i leave so i was like kinsey like last night I thought ahead and I was like, Kenzie, here they are. Left them behind again. Like I just need to start keeping them in my car. Horrible. Um, but anyways, I had my pumpkin coffee. Comment below your favorite like pumpkin Starbucks coffee order. It's crazy because the amount of times I'm tagged a day in drinks that you guys get that I recommended, just like my drink orders, 
Like that, I, at the end of the day, I'm like a book and a drink influencer. Like that's really what it comes down to. Those are like the two things that people actually listen to me about. And um, I actually remember my order sometimes because you guys get them again. And I cannot for the life of me remember exactly what my pumpkin order is. So if you guys could just like let me know what it was or um, if you guys have better ones. I don't like coffee that's like too sugary, even though I know obviously pumpkin, whatever. I don't want it to be like too creamy, too light. Like I'm, I'm specific, you know? So if you guys could just like uh, let me know. You guys remember things way better than I do. The amount of times I've just completely blocked something out of my memory, um, and then you guys bring it up, I'm like, oh yeah, that's true, that did happen. So anyways, you guys can let me know what I used to order. I would really appreciate it, or what you guys order. That would be great. Um, I'm going to a 9.30 boxing class, which I really don't like doing 9.30. I like doing an 8.20 or an 8.30 workout class. That is like the most ideal, but for scheduling today, this is how it has worked out. And I leave for LA tomorrow anyways, so like uh, today I'm just running a bunch of errands and stuff, so it doesn't really matter when I finish. Um, but yeah, I'm back on my boxing kick. I could do a whole video too on like, not like a fitness routine in like a annoying way, but I don't know actually. I don't even know what I would do because I take classes mainly. So like, what am I supposed to say, you know? I don't know. So much fun. I love boxing. Guys, like I'm actually dead. Whew. So now I go home and I get ready for the day. This is my least favorite part of the day. I wish that you could just like snap your fingers and be done, especially when you have like long hair, you know? But uh, today's not a hair washing day, so it'll be fine. Anyways, it was such a good class. I love boxing. Ding Ding is my favorite boxing class I've ever taken. And I've taken from pretty much every studio that like does boxing classes, pretty much actually, that is like popular. At least in LA, and um, yeah, this is like my favorite. So, anyways, if you're in Dallas, definitely check them out. I feel incredible. It's like the best way to start off your day. Great teachers. My favorite is Dre. So fun. Put on this Sonia Dakar nourishing body oil. Like there are no oils like Sonia Dakar, I will say. They're a little pricey, but they're good. Spraying on my Tower 28 spray. It's the only tragic thing about working out in the morning is that like I do skincare when I wake up. And I feel like I'm just like wasting money. Because like the Sonia Dakar stuff is not cheap, but it's really good. And it is worth it to me. Using Laneige. So if you guys forgot, wake up in the morning, do you, what do you do? Like there's been times where I use like my cheaper stuff before workout, but I can't go with like nothing on my face because I really don't like when my skin feels, oh fuck. Guys, I literally hate my life. I just spilled so much of this and it's so expensive. Oh, <sighs> it's really hard being me sometimes. I'm just kidding, actually. This sucks, okay, let's see here. Gonna rub this on my neck. Tragic. Anyways, there's been times where I'll use like more inexpensive stuff on my face before workout so I'm not just like sweating it off and reapplying it in a few hours. But like, is that bad for my skin? Like, what do I do? You know? The past year I've had like hormonal adult acne and it's kind of horrible. And I will say the biggest things that have made a difference in the recent months have been the Tower 28 spray and apostrophe. I use apostrophe, I take the pill, I have a topical cream. I'm actually out of the topical cream now, so I'm just using this and taking the pill every day and it has drastically improved my skin. So anyways, I'm not gonna do makeup today. I'm just doing again, super goop glow screen. Today is a day full of appointments, so I just don't feel like doing makeup. I have been like excited to get dressed again lately because it's cooling off and by it's cooling off, I mean it's under 100 degrees, but fall is approaching. So I'm very inspired by all these different clothes. 
So I have been like fully getting dressed instead of just wearing like comfy clothes when I'm working from home. Today I'm running errands, so I have like a really casual outfit, but that's like literally all I do. I'll probably add some jewelry, like these earrings that are actually from Kendra Scott. Like you would never guess it guys. I actually like love a lot of the stuff that they've been sending me lately. And I'm not like a super Southern like Kendra Scott girly. Like I respect the brand and what they've done, but um, it's not always like my style, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. I am a mess today. A quote that I really live by, that is something I heard from Ed Milet that just sounds like my dad is, Confidence is making promises to yourself and keeping them and I will say my morning routine is the easiest way to do this And it's been the best way I think that I've built confidence one I am doing a lot of solo things like now I walk with my dad, but just going to work out alone whatever But also like I have a routine routines are just better for you in general And then I like have the promise of my morning routine every morning and I do it every single morning So since I'm constantly making a promise to myself and keeping it that's just like ingrained in my routine it's built confidence and I just feel so good and so capable and stronger and healthier. I'm in a better headspace. Like now that I've really been back on a morning routine that I love, I have put in an episode very recently on like creating your morning routine, figuring out what works for you, what you want to do. Like don't do the 5 a.m. morning routine if it's not for you. So if you guys want to go listen to that, I will have it linked below. I just feel so good and i change my routine up like quite a bit i'll stick with it for a few months and then change it up depending on like what i need and i'm just letting you guys know that like i've always been such a routine person but this morning routine has just made me feel so good i cannot recommend it enough and if you don't have a routine just like do something small like literally be like i'll wake up 10 minutes early today and instead of going on social media i'm going to do morning pages or i'll wake up and listen to a podcast and walk to get coffee and give myself like 30 extra minutes in the morning to be on my own it really does make the biggest difference so anyways i'm gonna get changed now put some clothes on and share with you guys what i'm wearing today all right so this is like the outfit that i'm wearing today i have a matching sweater the top is from princess polly i just got it it comes in like this matching set i really got it mainly for the cropped sweater because it didn't look too thick I don't really care about this bandeau top that much, but um, oh yeah, super cute. It's just cozy and like, yes, it's 80 degrees out today, 85, but who cares? It's fall to me. Okay, I got a pumpkin coffee. It is fall. So anyways, this is my look. I think I'm gonna put on Prada slides and call it a day. Very cozy, you know, that's the vibe that I'm always going for. Bringing the Prada slides back out for the first time and a long, long time. So I'm thinking, yeah, this is the look today. Cozy, fall, I mean like, you literally couldn't tell me it's not fall. All right, y'all, final fit. My bag is Chanel Top Princess Polly. These pants are actually Amazon, they're like $20. Peyton shared them and I got gray and white. I'm wearing a size large, size up, um, so you get the like baggier fit, you know? And then I have my Prada slides on, which are cozy, I'm getting laser today, so I decided to have like a very loose, easy, comfy outfit. But I love this. The perfume that I'm wearing, I'm almost out of and clearly didn't take all the wrapping off of, um, but it's Burning Bridges by Sniff and it smells so good. The top is magnetic, which is convenient, but it is honestly like the perfect fall scent. I'm spraying a lot because I'm out basically, so not a lot's coming out. Anyways, I'll link it below. So good, also, Good prices, I love Sniff. All right guys, I'm grabbing breakfast at Starbucks, which I normally don't do. I always either make avocado toast or I order a wrap from Chop Chop that I'm obsessed with, one second. Hi, can I just get the spinach wrap, please? Unfortunately, we're out of that one today. Is there anything else I can get for you? Um, give one second. Do you have the kale egg bites? Let me make sure you do one second. This is tragic, it is. We do. Oh, perfect, and then can I do a venti water, please? That's it. All right. Thank you. Okay, well, I guess I'm getting egg bites. Anyways, I'm gonna have lunch in like 45 minutes, but I'm really hungry, so I just needed like a snack. And I had egg bites this morning. Normally, I'm done with my workout by 10, and I don't work eat until after my workout. This morning is off, and I'm in a rush, so not making breakfast from home, and I don't have groceries because I'm leaving tomorrow, so. Anyways, this is not normal of my routine. It's basically what I'm getting at. You just never know. I change it up sometimes but the sunrise wrap from Chop Shop I'm obsessed with and I want to learn how to make it myself. Perfect, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. 
I wish I was having my sunrise wrap and I, I also wish I made my breakfast from home, but it's literally my second time at Starbucks this morning. So uh, normally this is not the case before I get slammed. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my morning routine. This is the morning routine that makes me excited to get out of bed in the morning. I just love it and I'm starting off my day and I'm just, I'm ready to go. So hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for all are new here. Stay tuned for the other videos. Love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video. There were friendships that I was holding on to because they were always there for me in the bad times and the worst times of my life. Right. And then as I got older and I started to realize like, this is kind of weird. They're actually only there for me in the bad times and never totally. in the good. Funny that you bring that up because that it's a great point. So often we look at who's who was there for me when I was down. And it's true. You know, you need that that that, that you need that support, right? But some friends, if you pay attention, almost keep you down.